What's going on guys, it's your boy Jim back. So, um, while I was going with this, my computer crashed, so we're about 12 minutes ahead of where I should be, but it sounds like I'm talking to George. Um, we went and talked with a couple other people, um, found out a little bit, um, but we'll see how it goes. Get back to it. Louis, ah, oh, there you are at last. Yes, I... I just saw your mother. She was accompanied by Emily. And they both went into the Duchess's room. I tried to join them, but I was refused entry. Louis, this does not bode well. Oh shit. Emily might want to avenge your sister. I must act quickly. You're right, Mr. President. Thank you. Oh shit, that was it. I just so so what happened while uh recording crashed? I just went to um um, Emily's room, I talked to Blown Apart, talked to, uh, the Russian guy. I do believe that's Emily's voice. I can't understand what she's saying. Whose mm. rooms connect? Like the balcony. Try this. to get inside Emily's room through the shit it's locked pick the lock bang bang look at that just enough get out there is what was the other it is gonna okay No. If you came from Boneparts' room, unless this is Emily's, couldn't get in the other door. Huh. It's as if there are several people inside. Once again, you're the one who's the victim in all this. What are you on about now? I should never have told you what happened to me. That's how it works, and you know it full well. I'm not that naive. What it's on earth work. is... You... Mother? How dare you do this to me? You can talk. After everything I've done for you, you are joking, I hope. Right? I gave you my life. That's enough. What? Now that Louis is here, you will leave Sarah alone. Cease your revenge immediately. What? What? If you think you're going Louis, to... Louis, help me, I beg you. I can no longer reason with her. I am Emily. Quit playing games. I... what? Honestly, don't be ridiculous. No. I am Emily. You are wasting your time. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. After everything we've been through together. Yes, well... Don't you dare bring him into this. This is between you and me. I ask for nothing more, so stop taking it out on Sarah. I... you prissy little bitch! How dare you! Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? You are joking, I hope. I'm the one who told you everything that's been going on while you were away. Go on, then. That's what you want, isn't it? You want to kill me? Go on, then! Shoot! After all the trouble I've gone through to find you. Go on. What are you waiting for? Here, Louis, take this. Wait, what's going- An entire life for this. Go on, shoot. Sorry, Louis, I, I can't shoot her. She's my sister. I... That's enough, Emma. Louis, out of the way. She's dangerous. Don't trust her. What are you trying to do? Louis, out of the way. I am not Emma. Come on, Louis, tell her who the real Emily is. I can't. That's I... right, Louis. I'm fed up with this little game. Tell him who the real Emily is. Why do these things always happen to me? Well, 
Louis, come on, you know how to tell us apart, right? Yes, yes, but I'd like to ask you a few questions to make sure there's no doubt. Rational and open, Louis. Let's see. How can I tell them apart? Wait, I've got an idea. On the night of our arrival, I have a rival. Who, is Who with was with us on the wharf? Cardinal Piaggi. He was with us from when we started traveling by ship. We arrived on the same boat. I already told her, Louis. Another question then. I'm the one who told you. Right. Let's find something else. Ah, yes. Let's speak. My rival at the manor. When we arrived at the manor, someone was already present in the Great Hall. Who was it? George Washington, President of the United States, Louis. Of course you are able to reply. I'm the one who told you. Very well. Let's try something else. On the first night, we went up to bed, but I wasn't tired. I went for a little stroll. Did we get a chance to speak? Certainly not. I was exhausted and went to bed. Don't think you're going to get away with this deception so easily. I can assure you, you're going to regret pretending to be me once Louis has exposed you. Right. I don't think I'll get very far like this. I'll have to find something better. Oh, well, I don't think I'll even wait until he's finished. Take it easy now. Are you mad, Louis? Lower your arm. I better act quickly if I don't want things to get out of hand. Come on, she's putting one over on you. Look at yourself for crying out loud. You were prepared to shoot me down. In the secret room behind the study. Talk to them about what you've been doing. Maybe they haven't spoken about it between each other yet. On the night of the disappearance of Elizabeth Adams. What about it? What do you want to know about that night? How did you get past the Gorgon? Hmm. Um. Remember? How did you manage to vanquish the Medusa? Sword toward the Gorgon, Gorgon toward the shield, shield toward the sword. Lantern toward the shield. Of course, I told her how to do it. That's enough! I've had enough of this charade. Louis, there's only one way to tell us apart. There's just one thing I didn't tell her about in detail. Too bad for you, Emma. I didn't want it to come to this, but you leave me no choice. Ask her about you and I. You just lost Emma. I indeed didn't tell you everything about it. Come, Louis. Speak about our intimacy. Very well. Let's talk about us. Last night, you came to visit me, and I can't help wondering why. Why did you come to my room? Louis, you must be mistaken. I did not go to your room last night. And that's where your little game ends, Emma. Because I never told you about it. So, there you can't answer. What? No! You didn't do that. I didn't want you to be jealous of Louis. Remember how you always used to react whenever you felt you were competing against a man? You dirty... That's enough. I've had enough of this charade. That's enough, both of you. Now I know who the real Emily is. You are Emily Hillsborough. I mm. knew you wouldn't get it wrong, Louis. No! You little bitch! Watch out, Louis! No! Hell, what have I done? See what you've done. See. Louis? 
what on earth is going- Mother! Go! You must leave. Everyone's going to arrive. Louis, what's going on? Duchess? Is everything all right? Go! Go, Mother! No one must find you here. Go! Come, Louis! There's nothing more you can do! But I- Leave us! Emily, what's going on? Mother, go to the crypt. I'll meet you there. I'll be waiting for you. Emily. Madam, I'm coming in. It was bound to end like this, Louis. Let me stay with her, please. Go, I'll cover you. <laughs> what? What are you doing there? Stop! God damn it. Now what's going on? What? Oh, now let's see if I can remember how to get... Interesting. I... Oh my god, it's about beat! Alright. Good God, they're all here. They must have heard the gunshot. Where is Lord Mortimer? Can anyone hear anything through the door? And go down this one and be fine. I'm there. Orchard. You good? Should be. I would think. We're still locked. No. Thank you then. Oh, so this is the, the conference room. I was wondering where in the world it What? The crypt must still be open. And magically, of course. Oh, it's open. I didn't think it was open for a second. I was like, what? Louis! At last, there you are. Mother, wait, I... Come, we have to be quick. No, wait, Mother, I... Time is running out, Louis. First, we must... No! That's enough. I won't go a step further unless you explain to me what is going on here. I'm begging you. Talk to me. You must trust me, my son. You are not ready yet. You are the one who should trust me. Tell me what's happening. You would never believe me. I came all the way here for you. Now I've found you. I'm ready, mother. If only. Louis, I have always taught you to keep your mind open and logical. I know you are going to find it hard to believe. But what I am going to reveal to you is entirely true. Many years ago, I found out that demons really do live among us. I beg your pardon? And that they can influence our thoughts. Mother, listen to yourself. I know you're exhausted, but for crying out loud, listen to what you're saying. Demons? <laughs> what next? 
An ancient monster with a head like an octopus? What do your demons look like? Maybe, who are knows? They horns and a pointed tail? No, these are not creatures with billy goat's legs. Forget your Christian folklore. Imagine them more as parasitic spirits. They possess their hosts and direct them from inside. Parasitic spirits? Yes, they are capable of going from one body to another as they see fit. And two of them are present on this island. Right, so let me guess. Hmm. Lord Mortimer and Sir Gregory, right? You felt it too? No, even if home does look the part. But I don't know who else could do it, given that we're on their territory. Many years ago, well before you were born, I crossed paths with one of them. Since then, I've spent my life trying to find it again. When we recovered the Alizif, I was persuaded that Von Burchard was working for this demon in one way or another. But I thought he would hand the book to a middleman during this conference. That's where I made an error. An error that could well turn out to be fatal. The one who Burchard was meant to give the book to was none other than the demon in person, Mortimer. Not to mention that Holm had sent Volner to get it for him. Holm and Mortimer are demons? They both seem to disagree about many things, but I'll admit I never knew exactly why. There are many of them, Louis, not just those two. Mother, have you any proof to support any of this? Of course, but you do too. You had everything laid out in front of you. Didn't you notice anything? Seeker study, yeah, probably. I went beyond the nightmare, mother. You understood the Masonic date. One one nine one. Of course, it was during that siege that the demon took possession of Sir Mortimer. They spent a whole night in conversation until the early hours of the morning. Mortimer had passed the test. He had charmed the demon, and so it chose him to be its host for centuries to come. But tell me, did you find his secret study? I did indeed. Did you see his maps of the world? He has contacts the world over. Yes, I've been developing the Golden Order across the world for many years, and I've never seen anyone with such influence. It's simply inhuman. Well, those property deeds across the world, all signed by the same hand, in over several centuries. I am proud of you, Louis. I found your notes written in lemon juice. Where all eyes size you up. At one stage, I was so afraid of losing my mind that I noted everything down. Congratulations, Louis. Wait, please tell me you didn't open Pandora's box. The urn? No, I didn't. Why? Good. We'll deal with it later. Sure. <laughs> uh... That's not scary. I must admit, I found it difficult to understand how and why Mortimer didn't have a place in history. On the continent, Mortimer and Holm are mere dandies who organize society balls. History forgets them with a disconcerting facility. No one speaks about them, and yet they whisper in the ears of kings and presidents. You mean the conference? How can you explain that someone manages to bring together so many important figures without anyone knowing? And without any security or personnel. Louis, I am proud of you. Uh -huh. You came all this way. You found me. You have surpassed me. You taught me everything I know. Right. How did it all begin? I saw him. Wh what do you mean you saw him? I was 20 years old. I was young and carefree. I traveled the world in search of adventure. In the Persian Gulf, we came across an ancient grimoire that became unlocked. Composed of seven parts, each one was a book in itself, set in a sort of metal armor that structured the whole thing. 
When all the volumes were brought together, they formed a single book. On my return to Paris, I set to studying these pages. I spent all my days and nights studying them. Oh, I can imagine you doing that. But the writing was in a language I had never seen before. Developed well before Sumerian, in my opinion. So I got the idea to form a small occult circle composed of all the major names in the occult world to see if anyone else could crack it. And you found no one. And I found someone, Louis. I found him. Or rather, he found me. He was young, charismatic, he was flamboyant. Sounds like a relationship gone wrong. Wait a minute, who are you talking about? Von Borchard? No, no, Mortimer, of course. He was a veritable mine of knowledge. I showed him the book, and he was able to decipher a few passages. We spent several months together studying the pages. He helped me understand certain passages until I realized that he only translated a few parts for me. But I had aroused his interest. It was too late. How so? I mean to say he manipulated me. He used me and in the end he stole the book with all its secrets. Did he ever go to your place? Not once. At least I don't think so. But before disappearing he proposed a pact between us. He proposed that I follow him and let him teach me, allow him to bring me up. And you accepted? Please don't be stupid. You don't make deals with the devil. After that, I spent my whole life looking for him. Three years later in Berlin, I just missed him. In London, I lost six members of the order in a chase. In 1741, in Tunisia, I found a sect of fanatics who had crossed paths with him once. 1741, in Poland. 1749, in India. Eight years ago, in Venice. We agreed never to speak about what happened in Venice, Louis. You agreed, and that was before you spoke to me about demons. Wait, the baby we delivered, you and me, that night in Venice, did he have anything to do with Lord Mortimer? The child was his son. We stole his son? Are you insane? I always mm. thought we took him to save him. That was the case. It was precisely to save him from his father. Need I remind you the mother died during childbirth? What became of the child? Later. For the moment, that is not the key issue here. Once we found the Alizif in Paris, I followed Von Borchardt's trail here. I didn't think it would lead me straight to the demon. It was careless of me. He toyed with me for a few days, until I caught on, until I saw him as he was. But he had no intention of letting me leave. We are all his pawns, Louis, and if we don't want to spend the rest of our lives turning round in circles here, we must absolutely get off this island. All right, can we move on? Wait a minute, one last thing. On the evening of my arrival, mm, yeah, this is clever. You. He was determined to give you a letter. More of his lists. Louis, I think I know what's in that letter, and I beseech you to believe that it is the least of our worries. We can sort that out later. Samuel Ritter Duchois, you wanted to send me a letter about Godoy. I wanted you to run a check on Duke Manuel. But frankly, it doesn't really matter anymore now. Godoy is just a pawn like the others. He is not the one I was looking for. Are you going to tell me what happened to your hand? Better than that, I shall show you. What was going on with the cannons in Tuscany? It was nothing. Since when does the order finance wars? The cannons for that Bonaparte fellow? Listen. Once in the lion's den, I did whatever I could to appear legitimate. So yes, I pretended to be interested in Mortimer's project about a young military man who was seeking funding for a foundry in Tuscany. Between you and me, if buying China would have enabled me to escape, I would have signed without hesitation. 
What did you negotiate about the Alazif with Volner? Absolutely nothing. I managed to pull the wool over his eyes until I found a way to flee. I want to know what happened between you and Emily's sister. Great responsibility often brings difficult choices, huh. Louis. That's all you need to know. Mother, I won't take a step further if you don't answer me. You dare blackmail me? I'm listening. All right, I used her. So there you are. Happy now? We had the Al-Azif, and I didn't think we would be able to escape with it. In order to ensure that the book did not fall into their hands, or that one of them couldn't read in us where we had hidden it, I asked Emily it's to... Emma. Yes, or rather for me, it was Emily. So I asked Emma to hide it without anyone seeing, and then I disposed of her. I am sorry for her, but she was part of the Golden Order, Louis. She knew the rules when she joined. I want to know what happened with Elizabeth Adams. Louis, we haven't time for those details. I'm sorry, Mother. Okay. I want to know. She was one of the receptacles for these monsters. I met her parents when she was born. One of the demons got inside her. The demon used her to spy on her father, John Adams. He is one of the Founding Fathers and Vice President of the United States, you know. Mortimer possessed her? No, I don't think it was Mortimer. Her father, John Adams, hired me to tend to her, but the evil in her was too deep. In spite of the various treatments I tried on her, I never succeeded in getting it out of her. It's not something I'm proud of, Louis, but I had to try everything. Mother, did you kill her? Of course not! Don't be stupid! I had no interest in getting rid of her. Interesting. I I wanna, I'm gonna happened. see if I say who killed her. If that Louis, we haven't time answers. for those details. You're probably right. Good. I think that's about right. We should speak about it once <laughs> we get back to After about 10 France. minutes of answering Great questions. Great actions for humanity have been decided by demons for centuries, Louis. They are playing with our destiny. We are their slaves. And it's time for it to stop. By the way, what was Mortimer's project at this conference? He wants the United States to occupy all the North American territory. France should recover Louisiana and give it to the United States. In that case, the Americans would just have to push west to chase the Spanish from the continent once and for all. And as Mortimer controls Washington, you may just as well say that it will put him at the head of a world superpower. We should do our utmost to put a stop to Mortimer's plans. But for the time being, there are more pressing matters. Are you going to tell me why we're here? There. That's why we are here. This is Bethlehem. What is this? Alright, well shoot, we're gonna end this one here. Okay, wait, I managed to go through Napoleon Bonaparte's room without leaving a trace. I protected one of the Hillsborough twins. I could have been a witness of Napoleon Bonaparte's resolution. I could have spoken with Piaggi about his motivations. I could have learned something about Al Azif. I have no clue. I still have no clue what Al Azif is. I could have gone through. Oh, I could have gone through Jacques Peru's room to get to the balcony. I protected one. See, question is, I have to choose. All right. All right. We're going to end this one here. Hope you guys did enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. I will talk to you.